Assalamu alaikum. This is your journal science teacher, Ma'am Uzma. Welcome you in this happy learning session through Mari Telly School. How are you, my class, lovely class students of class 5? Hmm? I'm here with a, a very interesting topic of uh, journal science. There is a system in our body. That is called nervous system. Okay, today's topic is nervous system. And after this lesson, I hope you will uh, you you will learn how to describe the structure and functions of the nervous system. Yes, and I hope and I'm sure you will not be nervous. You never be nervous after studying the whole nervous system all right so get ready and watch this video yes nervous system today we'll talk about nervous system have you ever wondered why doesn't an unconscious person feel any pain, cold, hot, or see, or hear anything. Yes, this is because his brain is not in the sense, in the state of sending any signal to the sense organs or other parts of the body. Okay, the brain, this is the brain through which we can see, smell, hear, walk, or sit. And we consider that we see with our eyes, but there is brain involved behind everything. Our eyes actually send signals to the brain and which interprets the signal and then only we are able to see. The brain is involved. Our skin the same way sends signals to the brain, which interprets the signal and then only we feel something hot, cold, rough or smooth or soft. This is the brain. Because of the brain we feel, we see, we hear, we dance and we talk to each other. So behind every activity, brain is involved. So this system through which these signals are sent and received is called nervous system and do you know our nervous system is made up of millions of specialized cells called neurons for this transfer of signals in our body look at the picture for example our brain gets a signal if you're hurt and makes us feel pain oh my god this is because of the brain we feel something this is why a person who is unconscious does not feel cold, hot, pain or anything because his brain is not working at that time. Now you have understood. Likewise, this is the brain through by which we can see, hear, taste, feel and smile. So for every activity behind this, there is nervous system involved. Let's take another example of ringing of uh, uh, alarm. When an alarm rings, the, the sound passes through via ear to our brain, to the brain. The brain processes it and send orders to the hand. And you all know what will we do usually? The hand presses the button and stops the alarm. All right, this is an act. This is again uh, in the brain is involved. In this passing on information signals from body organs to the brain and the, from the brain to the body organ is the job of the nervous system. All right, you can see the arrows, the traveling of the signals in both direction coming to the brain and back to the body organs so our nervous system let's see its parts it is divided into two main parts central nervous system peripheral nervous system ok 
Okay, let's talk about central nervous system. Central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord. You can see in the diagram here. In peripheral nervous system, it consists of all the nerves and these nerves may arise from the spinal cord and may arise from the brain. All right. And there are many types of, there are three main types of the nerves, which we'll talk later. Okay. These are the nerves. What is its uh, actually role? And let's talk about the peripheral nervous system. It's further divided into autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system all right don't uh, worried about uh, don't be worried worried about because these two systems will not be studied here all right so we just have an idea of uh, uh, the central nervous system and peripheral nervous system not the parts of the peripheral nervous system okay so central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord this is shown all right brain let's talk about brain it is the main organ of the central nervous system it is the control center and it is where it is present it is present in our head and uh, allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected the brain by a skull you must be very careful and should avoid the head injury all right this is the skull it, which is protected the brain has three important parts all right number one cerebellum which is shown here cerebrum and medulla or brain stem let's talk about the first cerebellum which is behind the main brain Cerebrum is the is also known as little brain. What does it do? Let's talk about its function. Hmm? It is responsible for the smooth and coordinated body movements. Hmm? These movements involve like uh, which involve actually the muscles and joints. It helps you in running, walking jumping and many other physical activities in which the muscles are involved and it also controls the balance of our body. All right. So what does it do cerebellum? Cerebellum. Cerebellum is responsible for smooth and coordinated body movement. That's why we walk smoothly and in balanced way. Okay. It helps us to, to, to control our posture. Okay. Now, what, uh, what is uh, cerebrum? Oh, it is the largest part of our brain. All right. And it is the topmost part of the brain. And uh, it is divided vertically. When we see, it is vertically divided in two halves. Right and left. Right hemisphere, left hemisphere. And right hemisphere controls the left part of the body. And right and left hemisphere controls the right side of the body. And it has many folds. And uh, do you know what is its function? It is actually the main site of intelligence, logical thoughts and emotions. Hmm, intelligence. Intelligence me, it also uh, means as a center for our memory. We, we should, we, we, because of this cerebrum, this part, we recall the things, we remember the things, we interpret the things, we, we create the things, all right? Means like uh, we think we should do some creative work and all, it also in uh, responsible or controls our senses, uh, sensations like we feel, taste, smell, and hear, see, we listen, we read, and we make decisions. So this is very important part. Now there is another part, the third part that is called medulla or brainstem. This is also very important part. Okay, what does it do? It controls heart rate. 
Hmm? It controls our heartbeat, breathing. It controls blood pressure, means it is actually controlling the blood, blood circulation, swallowing and digestion and all other involuntary actions which are not under our control, which are, which are processing itself. All right, which are not under our conscious. And while in the case of uh, cerebrum, cerebrum, which we have talked about a uh, little before, that cerebrum controls all those activities which are under our control, which we do consciously. Those are called voluntary actions. But medulla or brain stem is like a stem, na? That's what is the other name is brain stem. So, it is, uh, for example, the stem of, uh, you have heard the stem of the plant. The same way, the, this is the, this, this just, just looks like, a, um, you know, the stem of the brain. That's what's called brain stem. It looks like. So, medulla actually controls all involuntary actions, which are not under our conscience, automatically going on, like heart beating of the heart, breathing, and circulation of blood and causing some blood uh, pressure in the blood and then when we eat something we, it swallows it goes down uh, on its own and then vomiting also and digestion sweating and many other activities all right so these are the three parts of the brain cerebrum cerebellum and medulla or brain stem now let's talk about the peripheral nervous system and do you remember peripheral nervous system is made up of what? This involves all the brains, all, all the, sorry, all the nerves. All the nerves means, means the nerves actually what? These are actually make connection. These are arising from the spinal cord and the brain. These nerves, they actually, these, this is just like wires or network. Okay? So, uh, it, it, uh, what, do, what do they do? They actually send messages, the messages are sent and coming back to the different parts of the organ through these nerves. Because, and uh, without these nerves, the signals cannot be sent to the brain and the spinal cord. So, body parts actually send messages to the brain. The brain interpret these messages and then generates orders and which are sent back to the relevant body parts for taking actions. So, these are signals are generated and they are transferred, received and transferred. They are sent through these nerves which is a part of the peripheral nervous system. Understood? Like this. This is shown animatedly. I hope you have understood. Okay, let's talk about the different types of nerves. I told you I will talk later. So, there are mainly three types. Motor nerves, look at the motor nerves. Motor nerves actually transmit signals from the brain to the relevant parts of the body. These are the transmitters. You can say, look, like this. Red arrows are showing. These are actually the direction in which they are working. Yes, the next sensory neurons. These neurons or these uh, actually nerves uh, work opposite to motor nerves. The direction is that they, the nerves that transmit signals to the brain from the parts of the body to the brain. All right. So, First, I, 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 first we will discuss what? Hmm? Motor neurons and then sensory neuron. And the last one, then the third one is nerves that serve both purposes are called mixed neurons. Actually, mixed neurons make up our brain and spinal cord. Hmm? All right. So, all the nerves are made up of cells called neurons or nerve cells. This one nerve cell is shown to you. Let's talk about the structure of the neuron or the nerve cells. 
okay neurons what they do neurons have special structures that let them transmit signals from one neuron to the other neuron the form of electrical electromagnetic wave look at this yes let's talk about the parts of a neuron this is cell body it has a nucleus the dendrite thread like structure which actually connects one neuron with the other and it receives actually messages in the form of electrical signals from other cells thread like structure dendrite hmm like this then axon a big net a big cable like structure you can say it's a long thread like structure here the message is in the form of electrical signal travels and passes to dendrites of the next neuron next next okay through this mm, one neuron to another and then this is axon terminal which is making a connection between one neuron to the other these are the terminal okay so this is these are the parts of the neuron electrical signal keeps on moving from one neuron to the other until it reaches its till it reaches its destination so kids let's revise our nervous system has two main parts yes central nervous system peripheral nervous system hmm and central nervous system consists of brain and spinal cord hmm brain receiving the messages through what motor neurons through sensory neurons sorry and then send messages to the different parts of the body process it to the through the motor neurons to different to relevant parts of the orders from the brain are sent through motor neurons to relevant body parts for the actions to be taken like emotions thoughts all right so two um, uh, means nerves working together in opposite way these are motor neurons which are sending messages to the relevant parts of the body from the brain hmm now peripheral nervous system it consists of all the nerves that are made up of either motor neurons or sensory neurons hmm we have discussed it motor neurons made motor nerves made up of motor neurons and sensory nerves made up of sensory neurons yes kids you can help your nervous system work well and keep it healthy by being active having a healthy diet hmm and keeping yourself busy and happy that's all about the nervous system i hope you have understood and enjoyed this animation thank you so after listening this all information i hope you have stored all these information in your mind hmm and i forgot to tell you this thing that's why i prepared this slide for you what a beautiful close view of brain and cerebrum and what shape it what it looks like its shape is like a walnut have you taken that you taste it hmm so and you can see the different folds on it is any connection of these folds with the intelligence why two brain have wrinkles or folds on it this is the question and i am leaving the question to you and the answer to you you have to find out why the the cerebrum has many folds on it or wrinkles on it all right search from the net take the help of your parents or any elder and then let then you have, you can discuss all right so why do brains have wrinkles oh so much delicate organ it's so soft fleshy 
Now, this is the time to use the brain and you have stored all informations about nervous system. Now, this is the time to recall and I will check your recalling ability. Just um, having a quiz by having a quiz. Okay, get ready for the quiz. Don't be scared. This will be so easy. And it's just a recalling test. Now, quizzes, you have to name the part of the brain that controls the activity shown. Okay? A picture on activity is shown in the form of picture. Okay? You have to name the part of the brain that controls this activity. So, question number one, the activity one is, hmm, what is it? The boy is thinking. Hmm, so which part of the brain is controlling this activity? Yes, come on. Cerebrum, the most, the topmost part of the brain. Okay, remember? Yes, it is actually voluntary action under our control. So, cerebrum. The next quiz is, the picture action is shown. It is hearing. The voice, uh, this is actually the sign for hearing something. Which have organ? Again, cerebrum. Now, next activity. This boy is running. Mm, using the muscles and joints. Is it a voluntary action? Yes. And it, it involves what the movement of muscles and joints. So which part of the brain controls this activity? Come on. Yes. Cerebellum. Good. I know you have answered correctly. You are so intelligent. I know. Now the next activity is about to... Yes, reading, reading, yes, cerebrum, again, cerebrum, and cerebrum is controlling many of the activities, it means. Hmm, get ready, another, breathing, taking in oxygen and exhaling out and giving out carbon dioxide, breathing. Hmm, is it voluntary or involuntary action? It is our, under our control hmm? or automatically we are breathing. Yes, now answer it. Yes, the third part we have studied is brain stem or medulla. That is the right answer. Okay, next, next is, uh, oh, wonderful. This man is holding the body, keeping the balance on a big, large stone. Hmm? The balance of the body. Which part of the brain is controlling this one in keeping the balance of the body? Oh, yes, cerebellum. The balance and muscular action, everything. Yes. Cerebellum. You are right. Next. Get ready. Heart. Pumping and heartbeat is shown. You have seen this in ECG. Hmm? Okay. This is involuntary or voluntary action? Involuntary. This is not under our conscious. Heart is beating itself. So, brain stem or medulla. Right. Here we go. Swallowing and then digesting the food. Again, this is not under our control. We just eat and then just swallow itself. And uh, the food is digesting on its own. So, which part of the brain controls it? Brain stem or medulla. Right? for yourself. Good. Then, oh, yummy chocolate cake. I love this. This girl is tasting it. 
Hmm. Oh. It's also eating something tasting. So, cerebrum, all senses, tasting, feeling. This is controlled by cerebrum. Boys are playing. The kids are playing. Mm, I love playing. Also. So this playing also involves what? But your muscles and joints, the movement of muscles and joints. So which part? Yes, yes. The second part, cerebellum. I know. The next is. Mmm, lovely rose, sweet fragrance. Mmm, smelling. Which part? Again, cerebrum. All senses are controlled by the topmost part of the brain, that is cerebrum. The largest part has many folds, sprinkles. Now, the memory test. Again, you have stored all the information, no? Now, I am going to present number of things in front of you and showing you on the screen. And these are 20, 20 marks will be given to you. You have a look. I am giving you, just do it yourself, okay? At, after watching this, you have to see all these things for one minute. Then... Without looking at, you have to write the names of the things you have remembered. This is your memory test. And I am telling you these are 20 things. So 20 marks and you, you can give yourself marks out of 20. Okay, the things are going to display in front of you. Here we go. Yes. Oh, so many things are here. Keep looking at for one minute. I am not giving you time right now. But you can, okay, I'm giving you, let's talk. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can see all pictures. Mm -hmm. I think 30 seconds have gone. I'm not, I have not set a, uh, any timer. But I'm giving you the time. You just look at these things carefully. So many things are there. Mm, keep it in your mind. And you have to recall and then you have to write. Mm -hmm. Keep on, keep on staring. Keep on looking at these things carefully. 20 things are around. Yes. Now, I think time is up. And this is, I'm leaving this up to you. You have to test your memory and give, record your score. And then the next lesson I will talk to you and you can share your score on phone call. Okay. Give me my voice message. Okay. After this memory test, what is it? Keeping brain healthy. How can we keep our brain healthy, active, smart? And you know, I must say in the end, our brain is truly the most amazing part of our brain. Hmm? It comes up with, with uh, you know, creative ways to express our thoughts and emotions. It coordinates movements. It stores our most precious and, uh, you know, precious memories and solves dif uh, difficult, you know, very, puz uh, you know, crossword puzzles. And problems. So healthy lifestyle. Actually how can we keep the brain healthy? So this is my advice. By adopting healthy lifestyle. We can definitely keep the brain healthy. And active. Definitely sharp mind. So let's have a look. Of these healthy lifestyles. Like. First, you have to take eight hours sleep, enough sleep, take rest each day. Okay, early to bed and early to rise. Wake some man healthy, wealthy and wise. Mm. Then exercise, exercise 
is very important. Physical exercise. At least 30 minutes daily you have to take to, to take your take out, take out some time from your daily activities and daily routine and, and do it. Then maintain your healthy weight. All right. Check it. And oh, tobacco. So dangerous. Mm, do not use it. Never ever say no to tobacco. And the, the most important that you have to see your doctor regularly. So I, I hope you will adopt. You will have healthy lifestyle to keep your mind sharp, active, fresh. All right. And I hope you will be more intelligent by adopting all these things. Hmm? Now, never be nervous after studying all nervous, the whole nervous system. Am I right? You will never be ner nervous. Okay. Don't forget to do assessment sheet. Hmm, solve it. Hand it over to a person whenever it is asked. These are the two pages relating to nervous system. All right. And, and the next page is about another topic. So after uh, studying or means learning session, you have to attempt this. That's all from my side. Allah Hafiz. Thank you very much.